All systems go. Eve, boot up the camera if you would be so kind. There is no need to act cool. We both know it's not working. Will you... <sighs> Just turn on the camera and let's get this over with, please? Of course, Professor. Hello, my name is Professor Thaddeus B. Hemlock, and welcome back to the Renova region. Today, I am reporting on another new Pokemon. Here to assist me is my Pokedex super computerized AI and companion, Eve. Greetings, Traveler. I am happy to announce that our next native Pokemon of the Renova region was sighted soon after dark. Introducing Anglish, the lure Pokemon. Anglish is nocturnal, meaning it sleeps during the day and comes out at night. That is obvious. Do not insult the few viewers you have. I'm not. Some viewers may not know what that word means. Only children and imbeciles are unaware of the meaning of that word. Well, way to make any children and unknowing viewers that we have feel lesser than, Eve. My apologies. All right, as I was That being said, any parent who is counting on you to educate their child hasn't set the bar all that high. Eve, enough. Fine. Thank you. Let us get back to the task at hand. Very well. This Pokemon shares a dual typing of water and poison. As it is active only at night, it can be seen in dim light. It is also not very much of a long distance runner, forcing it to be an ambush predator. English spends most of its time training to be a true lure master. What Eve means by this is Anglish spends a lot of its time practicing its luring skills. The antenna on its head emits a soft and inviting glow. This is very alluring to other younger, less experienced Pokemon. When said Pokemon gets too close, Anglish releases a bite that moves at the speed that is 20th of a second. As it cannot fit any other documented species in its mouth, we have come to the conclusion that this is strictly for training and amusement. We do tend to disagree on that last part, however. The one who startled you seemed to find it very funny. <clears throat> well, yes. Anyway, moving on to abilities. The first ability of this Pokemon is immunity. Due to its exposure of its own, um, uncontrollable fumes, this Pokemon is immune to poison of any kind, both in and out of battle. However, its second ability, Poison Touch, makes physical contact quite hazardous for an opponent or hapless victims. As for attacks, water and poison moves seem to be most of this Pokemon's arsenal. Bubble and Brine, as well as Coil, Poison Tail, and Toxic make this Pokemon a terror in its aquatic habitat. It also possesses the move Harden to up its personal defenses for when it takes a bite out of something that may fight back. Well, I do believe that is all. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, again, thank you, Eve, for your unwavering support. Your sarcasm is not lost on me. I am aware. Be well, all of you adventurers. Keep on exploring, and we will see you out on the Poker Trail. Until next time. Farewell. Farewell.